Hey guys, what's going on? Steve Cronin. I am here in Houston, Texas, uh, visiting some friends. I saw the physician, my doctor recently. Uh, you know, my, my biohacking doctor, the doctor I consult with to do my biohacking practice. And one thing I noticed on my visit, you know, it's standard. You go to the doctor, you get your, you get your weight checked, and my weight is not ideal for where I want it to be. You know, on this channel, I talk primarily about nootropics and different biohacking devices, but one thing that's a really important element of biohacking is your diet. And your diet has a lot to do with cognitive enhancement. And I am thinking, look, I want to have my diet be in line with my biohacking practice. I want to, frankly, I want to lose a little bit of weight. And so I am going to commit to a specific diet and track my progress on this channel. It won't be a huge percentage of the videos I make, probably only one video every couple weeks giving y'all an update. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. Am I gonna do the bulletproof diet, four hour body? If, if you do a, a particular diet that's low carb in that kind of like realm or, or slow carb or keto, something like that, let me know in the comments below and, and maybe I'll try it out, do some research. Uh, if you have a, a diet practice that you, that you work on that could uh, be involved with, with, with biohacking or, or cognitive enhancement. Uh, until then, I am actually with a Jack of Epic Beasts, and uh, he's gonna tell you about what he does for his diet. Jack and I have been hanging out here in Houston. Of course, I moved to New York City about, what, eight, nine months ago? But I'm back here visiting in Houston, and so Jack's gonna talk about the top three tips for dieting and cognitive enhancement. Uh, that's coming up. All right, so here we are with Jack of Epic Beasts. YouTube.com slash Epic Beasts, right? That's correct. He's gonna give you the top three tips top for three. dieting. Top three, look, first thing, always water, right? Mm, yeah. Water is a huge thing that people forget. You gotta stay hydrated. I talked about it on my channel, and you know what? We were talking about just a little bit, just on the focus of hydrating your body constantly, right? The other thing is sugar. And Actually, you... Wait, for, the, for the first tip, how much water should you drink a day? Uh, I mean, for, for your body, I think it's like two liters. Okay. Two that, liters. that should be the standard. Alrighty. And actually, uh, Kelly Starrett talks a lot about that too in both all of his books. Mm, uh, uh, yeah, Jack actually got me ready to run uh, for a holiday recently. Yeah. yeah, very good book. So, water's one, the other thing is sugar. And you keep a close eye on your sugar. You keep it below 20, 23 grams. 25. Okay. Per so that's day. A, that, that is a huge one. A lot of us drink our sugar or our calories, okay? And the other thing we're, we're not gonna miss is calorie counting. I know some people say, I don't want a calorie count. Well, that's why I eat a paleo diet. I don't have to really worry about the calories. But if you wanna lose weight, what does that mean? That means you have to count how much food is going in your body. And calorie counting is a huge thing. Some people are anti-vehemently against counting their calories, right? Mm -hmm. Fuck those people, because you have to count your shit. If you don't know what's going in, how do you know how do you know anything? You're not quantifying anything, right? So here's here's a big difference between you and I. I, I, I am pretty much a, a pretty scrawny guy, almost no muscle, yeah. uh, and, and and you're a big guy, but you have you have your muscle going. So for someone like me who who doesn't know like uh, what's going on with my weight, and we were talking about this earlier a little bit. What's what's this test I need to get to find out? what my body mm. fat is, and, yeah, yeah. And, and, and if I want to start building muscle, I won't lose weight, or that's kind of confusing. Like, well, what's the deal with that? Okay, so there's this balancing, and all bodybuilders, anybody doing weights regularly knows this, but one huge asset on quantifying data for your body is called a DEXA, D-E-X-A. And you can go to a lot of different places, just type it into Google, and it'll show a bunch of places that do it. It's basically, I believe it's used for bone density. And you basically strip down naked, and usually there's a nice honey there that that's, will that's help. That's your thing you. that you always use. I love stripping down anything naked. that. You any <laughs> any place I can be there, like here, we just got to Celsius 13. I was like, can we strip naked here? And you said no. So unfortunately, I'm not too happy about that. But so you go to this place, you strip down basically naked, you lay down, and it's basically a CAT scan, but it's just not just for your brain, right? It's for the whole body. All right. It scans your whole body very slowly. And then it gives you a printout and tells you exactly, specifically what areas your fat is is sticking to, right? Maybe it's your calves, maybe it's your thighs, maybe you have, you know, cankles, right? Some of you probably have cankles. Some people have cankles. I'm not a big fan of cankles, I think they're gross. But by knowing that, then you can start to address that issue. All right, dude, well thanks for the tips, appreciate it. Always, people can brother. find you, uh, youtube.com slash epicbeasts. Yeah. I'll have that pop up in the right hand Somewhere. corner, one of these corners. Somewhere. 
Uh, that's it for now, guys. Take care. Check out his channel. And let me know in the comments below if you are going to do a diet or if you already do a diet that's involved with either like low sugar, low carb, or cognitive enhancement. Take care.